Gets Me Melody. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. So today I have another part of my jewelry collection series. This is all my jewelry from Charming Charlie. Most of this, well actually no, all of this was on sale. <clears throat> all of this I've gotten in the sell section of Charming Charlie. As you can see the sticker right there. But usually when I get my jewelry, I get it when they have the buy one get one free in the sell section. And that's usually when I get a lot of my stuff. For some reason I kept thinking I had a whole lot more than this, but I guess not. But let's just get started. So I have these pretty earrings. I've worn these about once or twice. And then we have these rings. I thought they were really, really cute and classy. Some of the little stones, I think, have fallen out. And I had to, like, just glue them back in. But I haven't really worn it because of that. And right here, I have two of my favorite bracelets I like to wear. I have the orange anchor. Which, I'm a pretty religious person, so... For me, the orange anchor one right here is pretty sentimental. And then I have another one, a nautical theme. The one right here, as you can tell, is pretty old. This is one of the first pieces I got from Charming Charlie. Along with this bracelet right here. This is one of my favorites, but I don't wear it enough. Because it's starting to tarnish along with this one. And then these two earrings in the front, no, the two, yeah, the two earrings in the front along with those right there that came in a pack together. I haven't really worn, I haven't gotten to worn the uh, candy theme yet. And then the turquoise ones right there. I think those were some of the first pair of earrings that I got from Charming Charlie and I wore the heck out of them to where they're tarnished really bad but I still like them and then here is one of my favorite necklaces that I own I wear this like crazy if I usually go to grab a necklace it's this and then if most of you don't know I'm obsessed with elephants so I saw this and I just grabbed it and bought it I want to say this is one of the only pieces that was not on sale, but I didn't mind. I thought it was cute. And then this pink bracelet was in the group of some of the first pieces that I got. These two black and white bracelets I got with that earring, the ring set. That is black and white. It didn't come together. It was all separate. But I just thought they all matched together and were pretty. And I didn't have anything like them in any of my stuff. Sorry for the shaking. Now this. I got lucky with this. It's a ring. I wear this for Halloween. It's a spider. The thing that stood out the most, believe it or not, were the eyes. Because they're turquoise. And then the body was really adorable. Oh, I was able to get for free another one of the spider rings that was broken. And I'll show that at the end. And then my favorite pair of earrings right here are the teddy bears. With the holding a love heart. I should have worn that for Valentine's Day. I don't know why I didn't do that. But these are just adorable. And then I have my 4th of July bracelet. I usually just wear this on my birthday or for the whole entire month of July. That's where it, why it's barely used. And then this necklace. If anyone knows the whole, remembers the whole popularity. Well, I guess it's still popular. I'm not sure. With the whole you know, locket charms. I think that's what it's called. This, this necklace is based off of that. And I sometimes end up wearing this with 
this necklace. So, because this one is a whole lot longer than the other one, so I just like to layer. This is actually a favorite pair of earrings I have. I've worn them once. But I thought they looked very, 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 very fancy. And I figured if I ever go anywhere nice, I can just wear these earrings with my black and white jewelry that I have. Or anything else, for that matter. And then come down here in the drawer. I have these two pairs of earrings. Now this earring set from Charming Charlie... I might get rid of. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that yet. I just, I've never worn them. So, I'm going to probably have to do that and just get rid of them. Because I've never, ever worn them. I just couldn't, I didn't like the way they looked on me. But I liked how pretty they were. Now, this pair of earrings is actually one of my favorites. I don't wear it a lot. Because usually it just gets lost in my jewelry box. But they look like this. They have bows. And this cute little design at the bottom. I got these the same time I got my teddy bear earrings that I had shown. Now going back up here to the top. I forgot for some reason to show these. These... I got for the fall, but I don't know why I don't ever wear them. I just think they're so pretty. It's probably because I'm paranoid that I'm going to ruin them. But they are just leaves. One thing I like about Charming Charlie is pretty hard to find, you know, jewelry pieces that are similar to what they have. Like these teddy bears right here. Or these. It's just, it's, it's pretty unique. The quality is pretty, it's okay. If you wear it constantly, like I wear my jewelry nonstop, you're going to start tarnishing it and just ruin it. So these pieces right here, this necklace is one of the latest, ugh, one of the latest things that I've gotten pieces one side is flipped over, as you can see. Sorry, that's my blanket. But it just looks like this on the side. It's pretty long. I haven't really worn this. And it comes with matching earrings, which I like. Which are really, really cute. I've worn the earrings by itself without the necklace. And I kind of prefer the earrings over the necklace. And then these... This is the first earring and necklace set that I bought. If many of you don't know, I'm a Clemson fan. So that's why I got this necklace, which is, I just thought it was cute. It's different from a lot of stuff that I own. I've gotten rid of just so much jewelry, but I've kept most of all my Charming Charlie stuff and then there's this uh, I think this is the most recent piece of jewelry that I got sorry for the dog hair everywhere but it just looks like this I honestly think my whole jewelry my taste in jewelry and clothes and everything has totally changed So I'm just giving a brief overview. There's my dog's toy right there. It smells like bacon. And if you smell it too many times, it just starts to smell like bacon and plastic, which is kind of gross. Oh, these rings are actually my favorite. And I have a chain that I usually put these on and I just wear it on the chain. can't believe I forgot about those. The thing I like about the anchor, if you notice the end of my necklace is uh, stuck on it, it's because it's magnetic. 
Oh, on the website, the anchor bracelets, they do have these, but they have them in different colors, I think. Getting sleepy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna think about keeping these. If I can't find an outfit in a few months by my birthday, then I'm gonna probably just get rid of them. And if you're wondering where I get rid of my stuff now, I get rid of my stuff through an app called ThreadUp. And they basically give you money for your items. As long as they're in good condition. So thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Oh, I also want to mention I have two other channels. I have a vlog channel, Con Melody's Life, and I have a nail polish channel. Go check them out. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.